welcome back. Now, last week, after a number that the crowd seemed to lap up, Paul O'Brien copped the lowest score of the series, and with a punishing schedule recording home and away, he hasn't had much time to rehearse this week. Luckily, it's not like he's taken on a tough song or anything. Only one of the most famous ballads of all time. No pressure. I was really proud of Paul. He really stepped outside his comfort zone. I asked you last week for height and theatricality. I didn't ask you for pastiche, and I just thought that was silly and it was less than halfway there. Fight. What I think is a little unfair is I think it's really obvious how much Paul's been improving, and for our score to go from here to here, um, from week two to week three, is very disappointing. You miss this isn't really a reaction to what the judges said last week. I wanted to challenge Paul to doing a ballad. Also, I wanted to pick something that I felt he could relate to as a person, uh, lyrically. Possibly sing. So that's your top. Paul's schedule is flat out, and we're here at Channel 7 Studios today, kind of squeezing in between scenes. So it's, it's quite challenging, but you know, we're, we're doing the best with the time that we've got. Practice is definitely a, a key thing for this week. I know the other weeks I haven't been as prepared as I'd like to be. It's just going to be piano and his voice, so it's all about putting in the time, getting some nuance to his voice and his delivery. It's a very simple melody which can be quite difficult to deliver in a good way. Uh -huh. Like he said. <laughs> With no costumes to hide behind, no character, this week it's all about the singing. And just quietly check out the girl on the piano. Here is the multi-talented Jade McRae and Paul O'Brien. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy. No hell below us Above us only sky Imagine Mate. You're not one to shirk away from a challenge, are you? Try not to, no. I'm shaking, though. No. It's uh, scary stuff, what we're doing. Is. Absolutely. Mm. Big song. You uh, must be pulling every trick out of the book to impress the judges. Uh, what uh, What are you actually been working on to get him match fit for Try this week? Try hard. <laughs> Try really hard. Yeah, look, we've really focused this week on vocal technique and control and, and focus through the whole song. Last week, Paul was a little distracted by the audience and we really tried to work on just being there for the whole Especially thing. Yeah, you, you guys. <laughs> Ross, did it have an impact on you? Yeah, well, Paul, I think you've got definite limitations as a singer, but I'm glad you listened to what we said last week because you chose a classic song and you did your best, so good on you. Amanda, oh. thank you. Great. Give me a kiss. Mwah! You did it. <laughs> hey! Well, hello. Let's be honest, Ross has already said it. You know oh. you've got limitations as a singer, but at least tonight you did what you know you can do best with the limit you've got. Well done. We love the home and away, boys. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Well done. Great feedback compliment, from the judges. It is a compliment. <laughs> There's more coming your way as you go on pace, Erica. Those lyrics were inspired by Lennon's hope for a more peaceful world. Paul, his hopes for a place in next week's show. And he, if you can imagine that, SMS Paul to 191977. That's your ticket to get him through, Erica. Done. Last week, the judges slapped you with the lowest score of the series. So was it a case of bring on the ballads? I'm going to show them. You know, it's, I think it's really hard psychologically. You sort of, um, you go, uh, it kills your spirit. But uh, I tried something like that. You did mm. great. So I'm imagining all perfect, perfect tens. tens. Let's see. Marina Pryor. Six. James Valentine. Five. <laughs> Amanda Pellman. Six. And Ross Wilson. Five. It's not a four. You know, it's not four, but it's not great, is it? Better than last week. Now, for all the streamers back here, it's time to check the Nissan Joyless halftime leaderboard. Okay, leading the charge, we have Chloe and David. After that, we have Virginia and Ian on 31. Scott and Ricky Lee are on 27. And Paul and Jade are on 22. Distinct lack of professionalism here. I've been dumped. <laughs> oh, dumped. Oh, excuse oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. Must be something special coming Mac. up. No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the hand. Russell and Kate and Julian and David are both on top at 33. Chloe and David oh. not far behind, 31. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 32, pardon me. Virginia and Ian, 31. Sarah and Adam are on 30. Candace and Anthony are on 29. Scott and Ricky Lee, 27. And Paul and Jade on 22. Yeah.